Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today's video is about the string handling or string manipulation in Java language. So in this video we will see what are strings and how to manipulate, how to use strings in Java programs. So let's see first what is string class. String class resides into Java class library. That means your, we have string class to manipulate strings and that string class resides into Java class library. Any character, set of characters, digit symbols within double quotes is treated as a string. That means whatever inside in your double quotes that will be treated as a string. For example, we have uh, Java written here but it is in double quotes that means it is a string 67 it is a numerical number but it is inside double quotes so if this 67 will be treated as a string similarly any character or set of characters or any symbol whatever inside double quotes it will be treated as a string next point what they are saying assignment of a string let's see how to assign a string to your string variable. So to use any string, first method is to declare string variable. Like we declare integer variable like int i. So integer variable we declare. Similarly, we will declare string variable to hold the string. So string str str is your variable. It uh, you can take any name. I have taken str. But you should keep in mind that string class, in string class S, whenever you write S, it should be capital. So here we have declared string str and we have assigned Java is great. So it is in double quotes, so it will be treated as a string. Similarly, string str and this is also the way to store the string in your string variable. So like this new string and inside uh, that uh, brackets you can write. So next is your input a string. How to input? Like this is the declaration and this is the uh, input. Like uh, you want to ask the user that input a string. So how you will use? So we have two three methods. First is of you by using scanner class. So in the scanner class, how you use, uh, first you have to declare string variable and in dot next. What is in? In your scanner object, scanner class object. So in dot next. Next, in dot next line. So what is the difference between next and next line? Here I have written next allows user to input a string as a single word whereas next line accepts string as a text line see if you want to enter a single word then you can use next in dot next otherwise if you want to enter a line like java is great so here you have three words so here you can use next line so this is by using scanner class Second, by using array you can enter. So here array you have declared string, string str variable and here string 10. That means in this str variable we can store 10 string data. Next is your by using input string reader class. That means you have to use read line. That you must be knowing that we have uh, input methods this scanner and input string reader buffer reader so this is the way to input a string to our program so next see let's see the string functions which are very very important string functions so here i have listed few so uh, I will be completing this string functions in next video but here I am telling seven uh, string functions. So first function is our int length. 
as its name suggests, it will calculate the length of your string. Suppose we have string hello java. Okay, so before starting functions, let me tell you one thing that string index starts from zero. That means h, the index of h is zero. Index, okay, index of e is one. Here, this one is two, three, four, and this space is also calculated. So this index is five. The index of j is six. Index of this small a is seven. Index of v is a. Index of this last small a is nine. So index of any string starts from zero. Okay. So h index of this h is zero, and index of this a is nine. So first function let's see first function is your length that means it is calculating the length of your string see here index is going from 0 to 9 but if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so length length would be 10 that means you have to count the uh, that index you have to count so starting from the first index that is zero index one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this will be your length of this hello java is ten suppose you have another uh, string like uh, uh, like happy so what is the length of this string? Mm -hmm. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So length of this string is 1. Okay. So how we will use this uh, length? I will tell in your, uh, in program. First let's understand what these functions will be. Second function is cat at. And inside this function, we have variable that index. That means care at. Inside this care at index. That means if I say suppose 2. That means in, you have to mention the index. Care at index 2. So care at index 2 is, index 2 is this this so it will give you small l see here we have two l here but it will give you the first occurrence of that uh, that will care okay so care at index 2 so if you want to see care at index 3 index 4 you can write here index next is index of care that means index of suppose I have written index of capital J. I want to see the index of capital J. That means they are asking care. See here, third function is index of care. So index of J I want to see. So index of J is index of J is here 6. So it will give me 6. Next is index of care ch and start index. See here, it is very interesting. Index of, suppose I want to see index of small a and start index a. So what it will do? Index of small a. It will search for index of small a after 8th position. So 8th position of um, in our string is here b. This one. So it will give me 9. Why? Uh, starting index. Uh, it will start searching from 8th position. 
so it will start start searching from eighth position and give the first occurrence of small k. So that is our nine. Fifth function is last index of. It is very simple. Last index of any cap. So if you want to see uh, the last index of uh, that uh, L. So last index of L it will give you three. Okay. Next is substring. Substring means a part of a string. So if you write that uh, substring, substring starting index um, six. So it will give you from sixth index. It will give you your substring. So in our uh, that uh, string hello Java, it will start from sixth position and it will give you the rest of the string. So what is the output Java? Because J will start from sixth position and it will give you up to the last. Next is last is substring starting index and last index. That means if I want to pick in between string in between the string, so starting index suppose substring I have written uh, substring starting from six and give me up to eight. What it will do? It will start from six, but it will exclude this eighth one. Okay, so what it will give me? J A. Okay, it will exclude the eighth index. So it will give me J A. Now let's see with the help of program, then it will be more clear. So program, I have made string handling over there. See here, you have to import Java dot lang in that your package, this one. After that, I have taken scanner class to input any string. First of all, how to use the length function. See here, my I have taken str. What is str? Str is nothing but I have captured my string in str string variable. So str dot length. How I will use str dot length. So it will give me the length. And length, you know, it uh, it is a numeric. So I will store the length in integer variable. Next is care at. See here, I have used string dot care at. So care at two. I want to see and care at two. Would be obviously it will give me a, another cat, so I have to store that in cat variable. Next is index of. I want to see string str dot index of j. Whatever I will input our string, so I want to see the index of j. And again, it will give me in that memory value, so I have to store in integer variable. Next is index of that uh, care and starting index. I have taken that I want to see from this index. So this is index of and next is str last index of str dot last index of L I want to see. So it will give me the last index of small L in my string. So I have to capture that also in integer variable. Next is str dot substring six. That means I want whatever my string is, I want to see the substring starting from sixth index. Next is str substring that start index and last index. That means six is your starting index and eight is your last index so but here you have to man, uh, keep in mind that last index is excluded it will give you the 
uh, that uh, up to 7. If you write 9, then it will give you up to 8. That means that that particular index is excluded. Now let's run this program. Here, enter any string. Suppose I will enter hello Java. See here. Length of the string is 10. And care at 2. Index 2. Care at index 2 is L. Because H is 0, E is 1. And uh, that uh, small L is so index of 2 of a string is L. So index of J in the given string. What is the index of J in the given string is 6. Okay. So if you uh, calculate it will give you 6. The index of after. Index of A after A's index of string is 9. Okay. It will search for A. That is small a after 8th index of the string. So it will give you 9. Next is last index of small l in the given string is 3. So if you see the last index of l, so it will give you 3. So string of string starting from 6th index is Java. You, as I told you earlier. And Last is starting from 6th index and up to 8th index. See here, 8th index is excluded. It will give you the output J. So this is the few functions of string and link. So in next video we will see more functions of string handling, string manipulation. So thank you for watching the video.